Brittany here. I'm going to show you the last week's worth of homeschool prep. Um, I went to Goodwill, the dollar store, and Target over the course of several different days. And I'm really excited because I found a lot of stuff for school. And we are starting probably this week. So it's good timing. So here's my whole table. I try to organize it, but my kids got to it before I managed to film this. So we'll start over in this corner. This is all from Goodwill. I actually went on two different days. Uh, we had some family in town and were able to go run errands on different days. So like three of these books, I think I got one day. <clears throat> and then the other day we went was actually the big half off the whole store the first Saturday of the month. So I got all these books for like $6, I think, between those two separate days. So I was really excited because my kids are moving into chapter books now. And I was excited to add some things, um, either for them to read or me to read to them. So um, let's just start. I found Little House on the Prairie and School Days, which I believe is part of the series I don't I don't know I don't I've never read this one before but it looked cute Skylark which I hear um, is a sequel to Sarah Plain and Tall and I think that I picked up Sarah Plain and Tall earlier and sometime in the last month at Goodwill as well so I'm excited um, I'll bet Juliet could probably read these looking at the print and the Page, the, she doesn't like it if there's too many words in the page. Um, she could probably read some of the smaller ones. I might end up reading most of these to my kids, just as read-alouds. Um, <clears throat> we've gone through all the Narnia books except for the last one. Um, I had a hand-me-down of the box set, and it was missing the last one. So I found book number seven, and my kids were super excited. They've loved listening to Narnia. Even though they're kind of young and a lot of it's over their head, they just really enjoyed the stories, and then usually after we read a book, I find them playing and reenacting the story, and they just play really well imaginative play after I read a story like this to them. The Boxcar Children Winter Special, I think it's actually three stories in one book. Andrew and Juliet have been really into the Boxcar Children recently, and they've been reading that, so they were excited to see that one as well. Magic School Bus. And Cam Jansen, smaller readers I know that they'll enjoy. A board book for Jackson. He just turned two and um, I realized he doesn't know his colors. So fifth child problems I guess. So he loves reading books though so I'm excited to read that one to him. Jemima Petal Duck and three Aesop Fox Fables which Andrew and Juliet also love. Um, the junior version, like kid versions of the Aesop's Fables. They just really enjoyed reading. We found library books. We had a few in our school books. So I know they're going to be excited about that. And then I picked up this one. I don't recall reading this one, but I've seen it and I know it's a, it's a fun story. And then I picked up just three belts for my boys. They've been asking me to buy them more belts. They think it's fun. So they were a dollar each and it was half off, so I think I spent a dollar fifty on three belts. So that was a good deal. So that was Goodwill. <clears throat> and then we went to the dollar spot at Target. And I don't go to Target very often, especially not the dollar spot with kids. So every time I do, I'm really excited because there's just so many cool things. So the pens were the exception. These were like twelve dollars. But these are those friction erasable pens. And my, it was my sister-in-law's suggestion to use them for homeschooling because why not? They can erase them, let the kids use them um, just for fun. It makes it exciting. And by the end of the school year, how many pencils have we gone through? I've probably spent that much money anyways buying pencils. So they don't know that that's part of school yet and they're going to be excited. I may save them just for like Fridays or something to make it fun. I haven't really decided yet. So that was like 10 or $12. Most of these things were either one or $3. I picked up just president flashcards and a little flip through 
president book for my older kids just kind of as just extra stuff to kind of play with um, maybe like on their break time just give them something slightly educational to look into I found these junior classics kind of like an abridged version at the dollar spot at Target too I was so excited because I've been trying to add to our collection of books either for the older kids to read for their reading or just for me to read as a read aloud to them so I found Tom Sawyer Treasure Island Little Woman and of Green Gables and the Secret Garden and the print was a little bit smaller than what Juliet likes to read she likes you know fewer words on a page so it's not so intimidating so I'm not sure if Juliet and Andrew will probably want to read these this year they're in first and second grade they might be more of just something that I end up reading to the kids during our read aloud time but I was excited about those and then I found a chalkboard and a little farm fresh sign. I think those were three dollars each and those were not so much for school more for me but I included those in and then let's see I found these cute little not Lego figures Jackson is two and loves everything his older brothers have so um, I just grabbed those I figure I'll put them in a basket for school toys and he can play with that while I'm doing school these cute little sparkly wood clips I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them but I'm sure I'll find something they were just pretty and a dollar and you know that's how it goes I love getting thank you cards at places like Target I mean here's like eight cards for a dollar I think they were a dollar yeah they were a dollar um, I just I could always write a thank you or a note or something and now that my kids are old enough to start writing their own birthday and Christmas thank yous um, they can also use these at times too so I also got these cute little sticky page flags and then these ones as well they were just really cute I might use them for myself my planner um, or for the kids for school to mark their pages they were just pretty and fun so that was Target. I think I spent like 30 to $35. I don't have my receipts on me. Um, it was a little more expensive because I bought these pens. Um, you know, but overall all the stuff for about $35, I was pretty happy with. And then I think I mentioned, maybe I forgot, that the Goodwill was probably like $6 with all that. Mostly because I got a lot of it on the half off day. And then, we have the dollar store and I actually got these on two different dollar trips um, at two different dollar stores and they are mostly school stuff as well um, I got two of these baskets and two of these um, collapsible they're like the fabric storage containers the fabric ones I was going to use to replace just for our normal toys I like just having something that I can throw the Duplos in or all the balls or the little animals or something like that. Um, the ones we've had before, I probably got at Target, but we got them when Juliet was a baby, so they've lasted us like six or seven years before they broke. So considering they were fabric, that's pretty good. These dollar store ones probably won't last as long, but hey, they were a dollar and I needed them. The plastic bins I was going to use for school toys. I'm trying to make school bins for my two-year-old and four-year-old to have special toys while I'm doing school with the older kids. So I needed, I have a few things already started and I'll probably show all my school bins, my toy bins later when I have them ready, but I've got a few things started, but I knew I'd need a few more bins, plastic, plastic containers. So I grabbed those and like these Lego guys will probably go in there for Jackson to play with with some other toys or something that'll just be special and different for him. And then my four-year-old will be doing preschool and the curriculum I have for her is only like a two day a week workbook and curriculum. I, I kind of, I've always spread it out so that it it's more than just two days, but with the, the actual workbook pages are not, there's not very many of them per week. And I just know based on last year, she's going to want to sit down every day like everybody else. So I just picked up 
letters of the alphabet, numbers and counting, numbers, and these were just a dollar each, and they're, there's not a lot of pages in them. They're, they're kind of thin. Let's see, like this one. This one has 30 pages, or 32 pages. Well, that's the answers. So, I mean like 30 pages. But mostly just something for her to do. I can always go back and pick up more later, but I'm just gonna start with that. And even Jackson, my two-year-old, is probably going to want to do one of them just to feel included. So, I just figured extra number and letter practice. Why not? I also got just a little pen, pencil holder. We had them in a little collapsible box last year. And I just thought that was cute and pretty, so we'll put our pens in there. Our new pens or something in there. Then I got this really cute little tape. This is probably more for me than school, but maybe I'll decorate my school planner and then I'll call it a school thing. It was just fun. More of these sticky things. I love them because I like to mark my kids' school pages for the day or the week. And sometimes if I'm planning several days in advance, I'll actually write like, this one is for Monday, this one is for Tuesday, and I can actually write on each one and put them, stick them on each page that I want done each day so that I just have the week planned out. Sometimes I use paper clips, sometimes I use stickies. Uh, they're just pretty versatile. I can use them for more than just school. But I picked those up as well. I also have these, these really cutesy ones, um, but just lots of options. And then I bought these little, I call them flashcards, but these ones look more like puzzles matching the fact about animals. And these were just food chain card game. I'm not really sure. It says it's a game. I was more thinking of just having something educational for, once again, if I'm making toy bins for the smaller kids, the older kids are going to be jealous. Oh, I, I want a special school toy. So I picked up just a few things for the older kids to do that's just new and different. Maybe on a break they can have something fun to look at. And it's the dollar store, so I don't really care if the little kids get into them and they get bent up. And then I got just construction paper. Always use that. And then a little manuscript tra manuscript tablet. I think I have one already, but I just picked up one more because I knew that we would use it for handwriting practice for probably any of the kids. So that is our awesome homeschool haul. I, I just finished ordering all of our school books. Um, beyond just these extra things but this all of this came it was less than sixty dollars i think I, like i said i don't have the receipts on me i can't remember exactly how much i paid but i know it was good deal and this is for our five kids we next this upcoming year we will be teaching preschool kindergarten first and second grade and then we have a two-year-old and that is how we are going to attempt to school them this year, and hopefully we will survive the new school year. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.